Hello, hello everyone. Oh, another new module. This time, well, it's another nonlinear circuits module. The 8-bit cipher. It is aptly named the cipher because I can't really figure out what it's doing. I mean, I, I know what it does, but I don't know how it accomplishes this. What kind of calculations are going on behind that panel? You see, it is, it's, at first glance, it's very similar to Dresno in that it, it has a signal input, it has a clock input, and it converts that signal to eight bits and it resamples the signal every time a clock pulse comes in. And so you can use it as a sort of a gate generator or a clock divider that's quasi random, semi controllable. But aside from that surface resemblance, uh, that's where the similarity ends. The cipher has two CV, or well, they, they're called data, two data inputs. And in addition to nine outputs, I mean, there are eight bits and there's one up here called Super Serial, which as far as I can tell, just fires at the same time that bit eight fires. I'm not sure what is meant by Super Serial but uh, a, a copy of bit eight, that's fine with me, I'll use it. Um, but in addition to the eight bits, there are also four CV outputs and these CVs are generated somehow by the interplay, uh, I guess different combinations of bits. It acts kind of like, almost like a shift register or one of those Rungler circuits where it's, it's generating little CV patterns and there are four of them. And according to the written material on the internet about this module, if you have nothing plugged into data input two, then some of this internal CV gets mixed back into it. So you have these dancing gates indicated by the pretty little ring of lights and you have these four CVs and the way it operates it seems to produce patterns patterns that repeat over a longer or shorter period of time depending on the nature of the signals that you feed into the data inputs Whatever it's doing is complex enough that I can't follow what's happening. It's enigmatic. It's mysterious. And it was reasonably priced, so I could not resist. Anyway, let's hear what it's doing. It is, uh, it is clocked by the grid's clock divided by six down here. Uh, and let's see what's happening. It is receiving data one is one of these LFOs. Data two is the minimum output from Rampage. Rampage B is just free running, cycling. Rampage A is being triggered by the reset of grids. And output A is affecting the decay time on hat. Um, let's see, grids is doing the standard thing, T kick hat, and mm, chaos nand going through the LXD for the snare part. The super serial gate output is triggering plats receiving some morph CV from the CV4 of the cipher. The output of plats is going through this VCA being gated by that clock and it sounds like So 
so it's pulsing, it's pulsing those 16th notes, but the, the accent is happening when that green light fires up there, the super serial gate. And then uh, I've got two of the CVs controlling the pitch of the two sides of the dual VCO. Uh, VCO2 set to low range. And another CV is affecting the pulse width modulation. And then uh, gate 000 and 110 are going down here to streams which is doing its low pass gate routine on those two oscillators and they sound like this And that's the 8-bit cipher. I just got it today. And this is my test patch to test it out and make sure it was working. And it, it certainly appears to be working. So there you go. Thanks to my patrons for paying for that. And thanks to y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will catch you next time.